Some of the things I'm most proud of about this feature were kind of accidental because we didn't know better. No one kind of told us, like, here's how a feature happens, or... Yeah, willful ignorance is, is, yeah. is our process. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with Daniel Shiner, Daniel Kwan of Daniels, co-directors and co-writers of Swiss Army Man, starring Daniel Radcliffe, Paul Dano. What? Hey. So this has been known pretty much since uh, information's been released as the Farting Corpse movie. Yeah, that's correct. But how would you describe it? It's a lonely, weirdo stalker man and a dead body who farts too much. His brain has been wiped of all his memories, and now our main character has to convince him that life is worth living. So it's like a fun, weird, buddy comedy travel road trip movie, but also just really sad sometimes. The we're farting corpse to... movie that might make you cry. There we go. Yeah, uh, we're not shying away from the fact that that's what the film is. We want to blow up people's expectations of what a movie is allowed to be. So it's the farting corpse movie, but it might make you cry. It made his mom cry, so. <laughs> yeah, that was my goal, <laughs> yeah. to make my mom cry. You guys ready for a clip? Nope. No, 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 not ready for a clip yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll reenact. We'll reenact. Okay, a clip. we're gonna act okay. out a clip. So There's this one the scene where Paul Dano's scene. like, yeah. he goes, uh, "You're you're Manny." So okay, Manny's okay. Sitting here. I, I, know, I want to go on the floor. And then okay, Paul goes, uh, "Welcome to the bus," and you say, "Oh, that's right. There's other people oh, here." Oh yeah. And then oh. I put in like an iPod made out of sticks into his ears. Yeah. Um, and then he starts singing. It hasn't been for Cotton Eye Joe. And then I build like a weird Mary thing outside the window that looks like the world going by, and. And he's looking out the bus, and I'm like, this is like what riding the bus like. Oh my god, this is the life I've forgotten. And then what I go, I... this is just the beginning. <laughs> End of clip. End of clip. People don't like other people's farts. That's so sad. What are we even going back home for? It sounds like you're not allowed to do anything back there. Can you name a couple other films that uh, you guys maybe watched? while yeah. writing Swiss Army Man. Yeah, oh. one we didn't watch is, like, we've still never seen Weekend at Bernie's. Really? So, like, I know. I'm worried that I'll watch it one day and be like, oh, no, it's the same as my movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, I still don't know. Yeah. Um, okay. Paul Dano's friend described the movie as, like, Tree of Life meets Dumb and Dumber. And we were, like, really into that. That, yeah, that seems nice. more fitting than um, Castaway and Weekend at Bernie's. How did the two of you start working together? We were teaching assistants at like the New York Film Academy. We were just doing like, a summer camp for kids to learn how to make videos. I actually took that course. And, oh yeah, yeah I probably, really? we probably taught you then, right? Hello exactly. again. Hey, <laughs> I <laughs> loved your final project. <laughs> but what, what ended up happening was we uh, we just realized that we had uh, like very similar sensibilities, and we we're like, let's shoot something for fun, and we put it out on the internet, and it got staff picked on Vimeo. It got like put on the front page. We just kind of kept doing that, putting stuff on the internet, until finally someone gave us enough money to make a feature, so. In a lot of ways, you can see the movie featuring a lot of different moments from your music videos, uh, including some of the signature stuff from Turn Down For What and others. If you could yeah. describe a bit of the sorts of techniques that you grabbed from your work in the past. So like a lot of that stuff had already been on our mind because of Swiss Army Man, and we never expected much of it to go anywhere. Like we were like, oh, we're gonna make these interesting things and put them out there, but most of the world's not gonna see it. But then of course, turned down for what like blew up, and and now there's gonna be a lot of comparisons, comparisons, which is totally fine and it's great because I think Swiss Army Man is sort of an accumulation of all the weird works that we've been doing, weird and sincere works that we've been doing in the short form. Yeah, as much as it's deeply outlandish, it's deeply human movie, it's heartfelt. The moment that feels the most honest, the most true to my life, is the really sad, funny one. Not the either or, but the, the both. In the movie, they're, they're kind of talking about home a lot, but like, they're so far from it. There's no society around to kind of like tell them what's normal or not. So they're kind of constantly kind of navigating that. So they're in a gray area. Like one of the big ones was like while we were writing this movie, like as the dead body and the man were getting closer and closer, we kind of drew a line. I was like, nope, they're not allowed to fall in love because that that would be too weird. He's a dead body and whatever. Let's not let's not go there. And we kept writing drafts and writing drafts and it just wasn't working. And finally, like we could, we should just let them be, let them express themselves and, and actually fall in love. But also, it's so fun to fuck with that line. So <laughs> it's like right in between. Big thanks to Daniel Shiner at Daniel Kwan, their new movie, Swiss Army Man. 
Farting corpses. Farting corpses. Lots of lots of tears. Musical numbers. Yeah. There's a bear in it. There's a bear. Check in it out it. in theaters. Sit next to a stranger. Oh. All right. Thank you <laughs> cool. so much. That's our plug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we just wave during the whole Back clip? Camera one. Back camera, Back camera two. Camera three.